and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and as you can see, we're not in our studio today. We're actually in the Motion Industries fluid power shop because we're going to show you how to press fit bearings onto shafts and into housings using a hydraulic press. I'm excited, and our special guest today from NSK, please welcome Scott Moorhead. Scott, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Tom? Uh, I'm excited because it's not often we get in the shop. We're always in the studio, so right. I'm really looking forward to using this hydraulic press. Now, what's the first thing that we need to know? Because this is a very powerful machine. When we want to press fit that onto the shaft, what's the knowledge we got to have when we get started? Well, we need to know where the press fits exist. Okay. So in this case, it's on a shaft, but is it on the shaft, the housing, or both? How do we know that, though? Well, you can look at the actual print dimensions from when it was designed. If you don't have that, you can measure the individual components. Okay. And what would be next? We've got to figure out our tools and everything, what's going on here. What's the next step in the process? Well, once, once we know where the press fits exist, we want to know how much force it takes. Okay. And, and how do we know all this? I mean, how do we know how much force is required? Because this machine, uh, I can see it on the sign right here. Mm -hmm. It says it goes up to 30 tons. And we're right. obviously not going to need 30 tons for this. So how do we know? Well, we can actually calculate that value, mm -hmm. or we can look at a published chart. Okay, and I believe you have a chart already yes. ready to go. You guys can see that there on the video. And uh, as the chart shows, the bearing is 31 millimeters wide, yes. and the interference is one thousandth of an inch. Now, that's the space between the shaft and the bearing, right? Correct. That's about all we're looking for. And then we need 1.2 tons of force. This goes up to 30, so we're in pretty good shape. We shouldn't have any issues whatsoever, right? That's right. Okay, now we started with our PPE on, our glasses, but we're going to need some gloves because we're going to actually have to touch the shaft to inspect it. And uh, I think we can all agree that you want to make sure that whatever you're using with surfaces have to be clean. We don't want any contaminants on it because that could affect the actual bearing going onto the shaft. And that could, you know, then we're talking downtime if something happens with your machine. That's right. Okay. What's the first thing we do? What are we going to inspect first? First going to look at the shaft. We're going right. to look for any nicks, dings, or any imperfections. All right, I'm looking around here. Okay, I think I see what might be, I don't know if they can see this on camera, right there. It looks like a little bit of a, a, a burr or something. I can feel it. What can I do? You can take a piece of sandpaper or something similar to take it off. All right, here we go. Let's see. So I'm going to sand that right there. Okay, now that feels nice and smooth, and I think you can see we took that out right there. We got a nice close-up. Mm -hmm. So I think we're smooth and we're ready to go. What's up next? Next thing we need to do is make sure it's clean and wipe some oil onto it. All right, that's your job. Now that's actually going to help the bearing fit on the shaft easier, right? That's right. Always works. All right, what do we do up next? Then we need to put the bearing on. Okay. We need to make sure that it's centered on the shaft and make sure it's properly aligned. What happens if it's not properly aligned? Well, you can damage the bearing, the shaft, or it can uh, cause damage to the equipment. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Right. Okay, so this is important. Next up. I know we've got to put this in between, correct? Correct. All right, are we pretty much ready to go? And we need to make sure it's lined up. Okay. I'm going to see how good I can do here. I don't know. It looks okay, but the machine goes nice and slow, so as it gets closer, we'll be able to adjust, right? That's right. Are we ready? We're ready. All right, let's turn it on. Let's see how close we got here. Well, I'm a little off there, Scott. I'm going to let you right. line it up so we're just right. That looks good. Yeah, that looks just right. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect alignment. I think everybody can see on both sides. Everything is nicely aligned, so I think we did good. All right, let's retract it. We'll take that off, and then we'll show that. And as you can see right there, that bearing looks absolutely perfect. Now, are we done? We are done. We are done. Good to go. We're going to turn the machine off. Well, Scott, thank you so much. Great information. Right. Thank, thank you, you for your help today. That's Scott Moorhead. He is with NSK. And that's it. That's how you press fit a bearing onto the shaft using a hydraulic press. Thanks to the folks at NSK. That's going to do it for this MI How To video. Now, as you saw, we had on the appropriate PPE. Remember, whatever the job calls for, make sure you wear it as well, because safety is always number one, especially when you're working with big machines like this. Check out more MI How To videos at MIHowTo.com. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Tom Clark, your host.